Turn it up for it. There it is. In case you missed the announcement yesterday, so many emails and messages in the past month telling me, like, Seth, I missed the deadline to register. So we opened it up again, okay? There's the link. Go check it out if you want to register. Um, you'll get your bib number. It is too late. The order has already been placed for the medals, but you will get a bib number. All right, there it is, okay? Just in case you want to do the DGR Distance Classic, 5K, Half Marathon, Ultra Marathon, I'll be doing the Vertical Challenge, of course. All right, onward and upward. All right, Saucony. Oh, my, my. Actually, there they are. Saucony Guide 16. Testing is done. Raise your hand, stability runners down in the comments. Are you a stability fan? And Saucony's just crushing it. I don't know what to say. They are nailing the upper. Let's actually, there's the stats for the shoe. There's the weight, there's the drop. All right, soak it in. I might even have to put on the durometer just so I don't forget. There it is right now. All right, there you go. Upper performance, mesh upper. And oh my goodness, great scores, semi gusset. Um, <laughs> Saucony's nailing. In 2023, the heel counter, the collar, and the tongue thickness. I'm not gonna say it's plush, but man, and the angle. All right, there's an, there's a, you know a 90 degree angle right there. I'm really noticing with the Ride 16, now the Guide 16, even the Blaze TR from yesterday, a trail shoe from yesterday. In case you missed it, the angle of that heel counter, I'm really enjoying very comfortable and I just feel so secure through my foot strike. So I wanted to mention that it does have a pull tab. All right, there you go in the back. And again, that semi gusset. I'm just very pleased. It just, oh, locked down. I could go on and on. All right, fit also a good score as well. Midsole power run, just standard TPU EVA blend. All right, that 48 to 50 on the durometer, but don't, oh my goodness. Is it here? Is it here? Yes, there it is. Don't get confused. These look so, this is the Ride 16. So this is neutral, this is stability. This is neutral, this is stability. And so they have this uh, little piece of plastic here on the medial side of the heel to help you keep, you know, stay straight up and down. Just keep that in mind. But they look very similar. Don't get them, don't get them confused. Uh, but so for the Ride and Energy, there it is. I'm loving it. But I wanted to mention part of the reason Saucony's nailing this shoe and all the shoes right now is this sock liner, all right? It's Power Run Plus through the sock liner. So you have a solid, you know, I, I say standard Power Run midsole foam, but then combined with the sock liner, it's just amazing, all right? And it is, again, that eight millimeter offset. So I just, it's just so, and a lot of other people are mentioning this as well, that they're enjoying the sock liner. XT900 rubber, I think it's gonna go and go and go, and it's not totally plastered you know how i love that all right there's the fit there's the comfort I'm going at least four i probably could have gone 500 plus no joke but i went 400 info at demore global running if you pick this shoe up okay and 140 dollars price point perfect if it was one you know if it was 150 160 i'd be getting a little hesitant but 140 i would buy this shoe again at that price point all right there you have it some other shoes to buy a little challenging um to you know get it exactly and i was a little surprised but guess i believe the tempest didn't quite get as good a score as this guy and i'm not i think maybe because the tempest was a little pricier keep that in mind a very very exciting Saucony tempest from 2020 i'll link to it down below it's also on the website demoreglobalrunning.com it's uh, that was my i think it was basically my favorite stability shoe from 2022 keeping in mind i didn't get a test as many because of my injury but the saucony tempest oh that was a good one from last year shoe quick specs one more time soak it in all right and oh oh heartbreaker a dagger to the heart it was so in fact uh actually that should not be in there just so you know um 7.9 out of 10 denied not going in the shell 7.9 so close to the eights, but it's it's just a great, I'm loving it. Great job there, Saucony, on the Guide 16. All right, have, oh my goodness. All right, PBNOTJ1, you get the comment of the day. The Power Run Plus uh, sock liner in, is in the Exodus Ultra as well that I have, and I love it. Really amazed at what a difference it makes. It really does. All right, question of the day. Um, speaking of stability, 
Have you ever had your foot, your gait cycle and your foot strike analyzed on a treadmill, you know, I guess specifically probably at a running shoe store, and how was your experience? I'm always curious to hear about, you know, how people go about getting their biomechanics looked at and let us know down in the comments. And if you have any tips or tricks for going, for all the new runners out there for going through that experience, all right? Right down there. All right, thank you for hitting it up. Again, DGR Distance Classic registration is open right now. All right, we'll toss it to the Stability Running Shoe Playlist. Stability Running Shoe Playlist right here, right here. Stability Runners Unite. All right, seek beauty, work hard, and love each other. See you tomorrow.